All right, I'm gonna try something different with commentary on a map I've only played once before, so let's see how this goes. Good afternoon, 47. Your destination is the annual Global Innovation Motor Race in Miami, Florida. After analyzing the data from Reynard's computer, the case is clear. The Providence defectors are Robert and Sierra Knox, head of robotics developer Kronstadt Industries. A visionary inventor and technological innovator, Robert Knox has spearheaded Kronstadt Industries to the bleeding edge of technological development. His equally brilliant daughter, Sierra, is not only a financial wizard, but also a fiercely competitive race car driver with a fiery temper to match. Kronstadt enjoys enormous popularity with global consumers. However, few are aware that the company is also one of the world's leading suppliers of next-gen military tech. Last year, despotic ruler Jin Po employed prototype Kronstadt drones against peaceful civilian protesters in the now infamous Tanyan Valley incident. And although it has yet to be proven, there is little doubt that the Noxes personally brokered the deal, making them complicit in a war crime. It is unclear why the Noxes would betray their masters, but likely the fear of being next on the Shadow Client's hit list has pressured them to cut a deal with the enemy. Undoubtedly, with Kronstadt Industries on their side, the militia will increase their attacks tenfold, and so our contract obligates us to retire Robert and Sierra Knox and contain the damage they may inflict on Providence. I will leave you to prepare. So, we were working for the Shadow Client, like unknowingly, then in Colorado we found out who that was, and we were like, in Hokkaido we went like, this guy betrayed us and is working for Providence, so we kill him. And then the very next mission, we start working for Providence ourselves, so that was a useless kill in Hokkaido, but alright. Okay. Silver Bar, Florida fits you. All right, let's go.
Sweet. The old classic, let's turn around at the very beginning to see like where we came from. On the shovel. The bushes look kind of strange. So I played this map once before. I kinda don't remember anything really. Can't hop that. I can hop that. In my first playthrough, I would just um, follow the path, the intended like civilian path, which was kind of overwhelming. I'm just gonna explore a bit more. Alright. Let's go in here. I'm guessing this is like a parking area. Maybe not, um, but it should be like the least overwhelming area. My did you do now? Oh, this leads to the. Um, the expo area. Locked, I'm guessing. I don't think I can knock people with this. Desolate here. Most people are not a concern, I don't think. <laughs> yeah, this is a parking area, so let's explore the parking. There's probably, I mean, they've probably set some sort of like event down there, but. Ooh. Sierra Knox over at the hotel. Yeah, after the race. I just got to pick up the documents from my van, but um, I had to knock out a guy and steal his flamingo outfit, and now I can't find my car keys. Yeah, I know it's dumb. I think I lost them in the scuffle, but the real mascot is still over there. If I don't get them, I've got no evidence. Bye bye money. I don't know. I, I, I need to figure something out. A disgruntled Kronstadt employee has acquired some dirt on Sierra Knox and intends on blackmailing her. Disguised as one of the racing mascots, he plans to meet Sierra by the old motel. Well, I always did feel that pink was your colour, 47. <laughs> I mean, I don't... I mean, maybe I'll follow this. Uh, but I'd like to explore first. I guess I can follow this, maybe I'll end up doing one of the others, but I want this guy's outfit. <laughs> I'm hoping there is some way to hide this body. Parking tickets. Beat up grave. Okay. Nice. <laughs> well, that's the guy he beat up. That's funny. Uh, yeah, let 
Let's go through that door. Hope it leads to a chest or something. Uh, no entry for the duration. The event this entrance is off limits. Please use the park entrance. Have a great day. Not trespassing. Mm, okay, that's why. Yeah. Not sure if this guy is a threat. <coughs> just get him out of the way, just in case. Don't see anyone else here that could be a threat. This guy's just a regular die guy, yeah. Not wearing a fancy bodyguard outfit. Mechanics, I'm just gonna swap one out before I can, and then I can use the can to knock someone out. You see my mask and outfit on right there. Let's see if there's anything in these toilets, probably not. Chests, door on closets, vent through. It's right there, sir. We'll work this out. Uh, you either me and grab my outfit? I'm sure this guy will move. I would have already by this point, I feel. I try to get that conversation and everything. Uh, let's go and grab those keys. Actually, I wanna. find the car first before I grab the keys because if I grab the keys now I will just put a um, green blip on the car beat up grey van with a rusty green sliding door let's see if you can find it I will only check this parking lot like if it's in a different parking lot I can be bothered playing hide and seek but since I'm here oh there it is Gave me the number of his advice. 
Let's go to this garage from over here, maybe I can... I'm not. Okay, okay. Does that just lead to the same place, all right? Has a card. If he doesn't, then can't fix this. How can I fix that? Do anything. Look at that. I can't fix this. And off. Where's the aquarium. Just facing your backs at me. Crowbar is always useful. Looking for a chest. Should be fine unless this guy wakes up. And let's grab the pistol as well. We might have to get rid of it if we ever need frisking. I don't really use the large pistols. Checked that before I just barged in here, but yeah, no people here. We're good. And can I just get this guy? I shouldn't be doing like these risky things like in this outfit. Yeah, this is not useful. Because if they see me, then this outfit gets compromised. And like, for what? Just for like knocking a guard out? The race is entering its final lap, 47. <laughs> okay. I know, I, I uh, thought that like ended really early. Um, like really quickly, like 12 minutes and I've explored <laughs> like three rooms. It's not a lot. If there's any like challenge that involves like destroying the race itself. I have to be quick. I probably won't be able to do that on a uh, fifth playthrough at this uh, point. They're still there. Um, Alright. Oh my head. Some guy jumped me. He stole my mascot outfit. 47. The race is over. Yep. Sierra will be coming off the track. Anytime now. I feel like they should have made her a um, enforcer as well for this suit because he's like telling her like, I don't know. I mean, you know, she wants to help him, but like she would still be like, hey, that's the guy, you know, that attacks you. That was a little bit too easy, if you ask me. I wonder what happens when you go there in a security outfit, if like, or in a different medic outfit, if um... it triggers any further like sequences. Interesting. Um... So it looks like it might be useful to investigate the journalist or blackmail or note attached to the documents read Sierra Knox after the race next to the hotel. Bring documents be the flamingo. 
Next to the hotel, bring documents, beautiful building. I know the hotel, oh, that's the old, like, beat up building that has no interior. I think. Interesting how on these levels the mission stories or opportunities give you a box in the top left. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna, that's like, not too far, I think, but... That's locked. Um, I have no reason to ditch this suit. I do want to go upstairs, just check what's upstairs. Just to get my bearings. This is the coast. If we go around here, we'll end up at the crowd that we saw earlier. Maybe? This is also leads to parking. What tunnel is this? Don't recognize this tunnel yet. Random tables. I wonder what these tables are used for. Like the, um, I'm playing Hitman, or like just going like, you know, you see these random objects and like, wonder, oh here with the camera, no wonder, um, what's going on, like just on a regular uh, backstage day, I don't want to break open doors yet, like how long have these tables been here for? I don't really like, I mean with a crowbar it's fine, I don't really like the lockpick. Um, feels a bit, not, like a bit cheesy, yeah this is uh, this area. Oh fountain. Is outside mission boundaries? I think so. Looks like a nice area. Let's check this real quick because it has a red sign on it. Just like some gardening area. You could hop this. Uh, in these spikes. You have the pillar. I think you could hop it via the pillar. It shouldn't be uh, too difficult. Like I wouldn't be able to do it, but I'm sure like. Hitman would, if he really wanted to. Mission story revealing. Hello there. Bell? That is Ted Mendes, one of the country's most influential military grade money men. This must be connected to Kronstadt. Oh. Guy's a genius, and you know what Lacking any discipline or respect for other people. Last time I tried to have a meeting with him, he had me sitting in a room for four hours before canceling. I'll head up when I feel like it. Alright, I'll call you after the presentation. Speak then. Ted Mendez, a defense funding consultant with the U.S. military, is scheduled for a private demonstration of a new Kronstadt robotics project. Sounds like a way to get up close and personal with Robert Knox, 47. I think the first step is to get his outfit. I don't really care. What are you gonna do? Where is he going? Apart from this guy, there's no one. Ooh, there's a cop. Are you going into the gardening area? I mean, if he stays here um, until the officer leaves, uh, 
subdue him instead of knocking him so that his body goes. I mean, it didn't, but the idea was that his body goes back a bit. Maybe I'll come back to this. I can just dump him in here and not shoot him. Who is this gonna do? Hey, Come here a minute, will you? Hey, you. You hearing impaired? No, please. Oh. It's too good not to throw him now. <laughs> there was a witness. All right, I see. I see. Uh, yeah, I'll leave him there for that time being. I might shred him for fun, uh, since my uh, silent assassin ranking is already dead. But um, I don't know. <laughs> I like pulling. Pranks on people by just pushing him in the river. Like sometimes there's just a guy like standing on the edge of something, and it's like just like it's too good not to push them off, even though it'll kill them. Yeah, <laughs> don't, don't take a lot of regard for uh, non-target kills. be a good weapon, the rugby ball, but not. Uh, stairs, let's ignore stairs. Security. Let's go down the far side of this. Yeah, these guys are pathetic. I see a loner. So good. Not sure if he's a witness, mm, don't think so. Lana's get knocked out, just cause. Emergency exit. That's a mad bay, I think. I remember this area, it's a mess. Amazing. Just gonna follow this guy, see what he's up to. Like the whole like um, crew area, racing crew. I 
and keep following him, I guess. Gotta remember how to get back. I wanna get back to where I am. So I stand on the left and he on the right. <laughs> yeah, I probably should use this opportunity to look at people. And he's going back. That's what I wonder more. Like, where is he going to now? A super long cycle then. Fifty axes. Diana said he's away from something. Cards it gets as a VIP as a says only entrance. It's 
Oh, he's like walking far away from where I first discovered him. Seems to actually disable the thing. Welcome to Miami. We come in peace. That's the starting area, I think. Yeah. <laughs> mm. The green one is a little bit better at entertaining the crowd than me. Now we're going back, surely, right? Oh, I'm getting a snack. I think. Thanks. I hope you are having fun here too. Where are we going? She has a useful dress to be wearing to uh, this prom dress. She was a bit um, overdressed.
It's a long cycle, yeah, so I can imagine if you want to test out for it, you have to wait for a while. Actually, it'd be that nice to uh, run like behind the scenes hallway that I could have gotten in. We're going back to the fry stand now. What was he doing over there if his loop is just. this. Maybe he was doing something different like before uh, while the race was still ongoing. And then the race ends and he does something else. So it goes, it goes left. Oh no, it's a moment if it goes in this tunnel then. Yeah, okay. Some sort of new look. Hello, sir. I think this might be close to where the meeting is. Probably have to talk to that guy or something. Might as well do that, I guess. And this is the door I emerged from. Yes. Alright, let's go left and see where that goes. And to this area again. So, I'm not in podium building. Take the poison. How can a grown man degrade himself? I mean, look at that costume. I would knock them out, but there's no way to hide them. Exploration of the podium building. What does this do when I do this? The puzzle. Here's the mouse. I need a wrench first, right? Just get that thing first and then I can do the puzzle. Okay, it's too small. Screwdriver, any wrenches? Crowbar, hammer, <laughs> but no wrench. It's a cute pink vulture. Yeah. Anything outside I can stash in? Which leads to this area, yes. I've probably been up these stairs. These stairs running.
It's the uh, foot stand, I don't think. There's much for me to be doing backstage there. This guy, right? He's begging to be pushed. Lucky you win. It's me. Look, I need the crystal, all right? Well, I can't very well cook without it, can I now? Trust is what? Speak up, woman. Well, then tell him to shut up. Shut up, Buster. We're talking here. Like this guy, I'm gonna push him if I can. Should be safe. Oops. Yeah. Oh, the vendor key. Does this give me a map? No. That's a cool bridge. Um, but alright, I have a pretty good feel for this area now. Uh, the, oh, I wanna go upstairs in the podium stand. Salutations, my building, whatever it was called. Sup, sup. Uh -huh. We're gonna be trespassing and stand on that, right? <laughs> They're gonna kiss the trophy and then get sick. I'm assuming that's already happened though. Also, you're standing in an interesting location. behind it I'm gonna poison it see what happens I, mean, I probably won't see what happens because I'll be somewhere else I'm just gonna poison it for the giggles Sabotage the race by holding a flag. Interesting. Interesting. And at least Hide in a box, uh, let this blow over for a bit. What's going on? 
annoying, like you walk into some building, like there's no indication that I would be trespassing, and then immediately you get pissed. That sounds like an explosive thing that can blow up. This guy's a witness, I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna make two kills because I need to and one for the giggles. If I can throw him off, that is. Which I don't seem to be able to do. This function, run start engineer. Of, uh, what the point of that is, maybe if the actual race is going useful, I'm just gonna leave these here, can be bothered cleaning up. I hope no one finds them. 
Get back in my flamingo. Actually, let's get the engineer outfit. Take out this area. Hammer. Still no wrench. Oh, there's a chest. Uh, I might as well then. I should have uh, knocked him out first before I started dragging the body. Let's explore this building. Oh, that's a wrench. Well, let's go to the um, thing first. Let's close. Like that something will happen. I'm sure whatever happens will happen. Let's explore this area. Let's see how big it is. So I can This is literally the security place. All right. Um, let's use a bathroom break at some point. I want my uh, flamingo outfit back. car on display in the expo building. The show staff is under strict instructions to summon him at any sign of malfunction. Apparently, Knox trusts no one to fix his car but him. Perhaps it's time to poke around under the hood, 47. They do say one should never mess with another man's feelings. You got a fast car. Okay, pointless. Good. I dare say this should give not his undivided attention. Hey, 
Stay safe. Huh. What's the engine off? Back off a little. You're starting to freak me out. Huh. What's the engine off? Let's just try to get this started again. Let's see if I can find the octane uh, boost. Uh, real quick. If I remember, I got here. Man. Who's why? Snapping his neck here, not fun. Oh, still pending on the superconductor. Oh, it's not. It's not octane boost. I wonder if it'll still work. Just looking for like a massive canister. Making some well, just odd noises. Oh, let's uh, see. Can you come? Great. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be here. No option to pour a new one. That's it. We'll see. If he dies, uh, he dies, and if not, we'll find a different way.
Vision Smith. <laughs> All right. All right. I haven't explored this building in its entirety yet. Um Not sure if I want to. Conversation. I threw the deck. Figured I'd try out a new beat, you know? Everything you hoped it would be? Don't know. This is my first gig. Never been to any of these races before, but it sure is loud. <laughs> I've got all these key cards and I have no idea where they go. Oh, I thought that was a mirror, but it's a window. Neat. I might just want to climb down next. I don't really want to explore this building right now if the guy's already dead. Um, I'll leave that for uh, some other time. Let's go all the way down. Broke your uh, seal. This is the parking lot. Yeah, makes sense because you're still in that building. I want to get my flamingo outfit and do the. Um, Do um, that deal thing. Um, so I need to find my way back. 
What's going on here? More bathrooms. Interesting outfits on the cleaning stuff. That thing's beyond fixing. It's a lot of um, closets and a chest. Okay. Was begging me to knock these people out, but I will let them be. Section uh, numbers. Are these are the stands. Hey, make sure Sierra gets okay. Hey, Sierra, what's going on here? Hey, Sierra, what's going on here? That's um, find our way to the where I left the flamingo outfit. Nice. I can take that home. I need to see that invitation, sir. But I still can't believe it. Just so mean. Thank you for the invitation. Who's going in here? Find one another. Unless they're communists. Or worse, party people from New York. Okay, that's um where is the main entrance? This area, okay. Breaker, go! Ugh. What's happening? Should I... Can anyone please help me? I need help here. I think I heard something. Someone's in trouble. Here yet. Just uh, hop the fence. Ideally. And I want to go back to the starting area. Uh, Just to retrace my steps because I am absolutely lost right now. Just follow the parking uh, thing. Let's just follow this way. Uh, stand some care. This line. Oh, it's okay. Yeah. This line. Um, doesn't make sense. The line should curve like on that instead of like that. Because it wants to direct people in here, not away from it. Okay, I don't I don't even know how to get to this. This map is big. It's a maze. All um, 
understand it soon enough. Oh, it's the biggest map so far, I think. Haha. Mascots. Let's get my flamingo. I'm like, yeah, it's a flamingo, right? Someone called me a. Um... The other bird. I'm fairly sure it's a flamingo. Vulture, I think, is the other bird. Alright. I want to go talk to that one security guard that I saw. This guy's still running, he's going well, dude. Cross this? I guess I do. See this guy too. He's just too good not to push him, you know? Oops. Security it should be someone here. I th yeah, I think he's on the other side of this. Let's get another hammer. Hello. <laughs> nice outfit. Really brings out your eyes. It's not informed you'd be here. She has to make sure you brought the documents. So, did you bring the documents? I have the papers right here. Excellent. Come on in. Have a seat or something. I'll let Miss Knox let you in here. Yes, Miss Knox. There's a guy here wearing a mascot outfit claiming you have an appointment with him. What is his name? Oh, I'll let him know you're on Hey, Flamingo guy. You never Ms. asked Knox for my way. Have a seat somewhere. She'll be here as soon as she can. A mess. Some bricks. I'm just gonna sit. So, it's a great outfit. I'm thinking it must get pretty warm in there, though. It's insulated. Imagine that. I guess it would have to be if you're supposed to wear it for hours and hours every day. Do you, you know, get to use it at home? <laughs> parties and things like that. I mean, <laughs> for kids' parties. I, uh, I have a friend who's into that sort of thing. Cosplay, assuming imaginary identities. He says it's very liberating. It takes him out of the stress of everyday life and work, you know? Not really. Yeah. I guess it's different when you do it for a living. How's the pay? Sufficient. Nice. <laughs> okay, good talk. Sufficient. I wonder what happens when you sit down here, like in the first minute of the map, and she's still racing. Do you have to wait for like 15 minutes? I think it's just 12 minutes. All these things to so, try. So, mister... Hmm. I never did catch your name. Names are for friends. Um, Straight to the point in all business. Walk with me. Where are we going? Don't worry. 
What am I going to do? Kill you in broad daylight. I didn't want to be friends with you. Not about to do sensitive business like this in front of an audience. Good idea. Gotten the backstory of this. Let me think. Uh, the description's gone too. But just to get this straight, you claimed you were emails and somehow found internal reports that show Kronstadt's involvement in the Tongan Valley massacre. Sounds about right. Let's be clear. You and I are having this meeting because my father doesn't need to know about this. It's just another undesired distraction. I don't care if the information is true or false. I don't care if it mentions moving money from the Nexus project into Tungan Valley damage control, as you claimed in your correspondence. I do care about protecting my father, which is why you and I are now here. I see. Leave me alone for a few minutes, guys. Sure thing, Miss Knox. Uh, if you need us, just call. We're right around the corner. So here's the deal. You hand over the documents and leave, and that's the end of it. And you will do that now. Pretty, um... Trusting. So here are the two of possible someone whose name she doesn't meeting. even know. One, you will leave this place and this country for good, and that will be the end of it. Everyone lives happily ever after. Two, you don't choose option one. Someone dies right here, right now. Which do you prefer? Not much of a choice, is it? No, not really. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Both targets down. Well done, 47. Head for an exit and we'll speak again soon. That felt too easy. Like, this guy is like blackmailing her. <laughs> and she's like, yeah, leave us alone. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> yeah, let's do it in this outfit too. <laughs> hmm. Still don't know what the triumph is, but okay. <clears throat> this one is catching my eye. Leave through the sewers. Because I noticed the ones from Hitman 1 that require you to leave through specific exits are gone, I think. Unless I didn't look correctly. So I wonder if it's just this one or what. One star. Six skills, two of which were pranks, and I still got spotted and noticed, so at least, you know, bodies found. I guess, uh, yeah, I got spotted trespassing into that, like, one room of the lethal injection pill syringe. Alright. Leaderboard is just gonna be me and Gotnek, I guess. Prince. Yes. Oh, I beat him. Oh, that's not clean now, Gothnag. Nice. Cutscene. Before I watch the cutscene, I have to go to the bathroom.
Right, let's watch the cutscene. Uh, what's this? Let's use this. Thanks. Um, I did not bother with. I stashed the weapon. I don't even know where. As you can see, a uh, small item in a toilet trash bin under the stands. Yeah, okay, I know I understand. Is that the toilet of the four, um, all of, like, the many chests? I think so. Gives you the option to use loadout slots during the planning phase of this mission. It can be used to bring items you've unlocked into the level. Nice, that's like, pretty quick. Not like Hokkaido, where it's at level 20, I... Mm, yeah, 20, I think. Um, I... I I don't know what I'd be bringing. I guess the, the pistol is pretty useful. Nice a map of Hokkaido, actually. They just reused the image. Lockpick Mark II. This is just like a reskin of the lockpick. It's not like you, you actually ever see the skin. I don't get the point of this, but I guess it's just a collector's item. I don't really care about these, I guess. I just want the number to go up, but it's nice to have, I guess. Why not? Some people, like, really dig this. Fish! Is this a reference to the, like, meme from, like, 2000 and, like, zero on IFC, where you would do, like, slash slap? And then it would post a message in IFC, like, Blah 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 blah. Slaps a so and so around a bit with a big large trout. Is this a trout? <laughs> what? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Hold on. I gotta. <laughs> Why? <laughs> uh, someone explain this to me. Dolphin Fountain. I've stepped away from the main race and then it starts near a beautiful Dolphin Fountain. I've been there. It's, uh, a little bit closer to the event, but it's like one tunnel, I guess. Okay. This is a gift. Okay. Because then by boat and starts his main mission. Makes also sense. Ooh, no sniper. Extensive customization. That's a stupid like description because like it's not like you can customize it. Um, you just have to unlock like the version of the customization. Okay. Neat cutscene. <laughs> Hi. 
leading operatives. Panic is spreading, and now we are axing our own. Knox was a traitor. He would have caused incalculable damage. And he won't be the last. This is exactly what the enemy wants. We need to fight the sickness, not the symptom. And I have just the tool for the job. Right. The Burnwood woman. Eric Soders warned you about her, didn't he? The Crusader. I can handle this Burnwood. Everyone hates power until you offer them some. And you ought to know. ICA speaks the enemy's language. We need them. And once we don't, <laughs> we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Fact remains, we are shadowboxing. We need to know who we are up against. I was getting to that. His name is Lucas Gray, the late Mr. Cobb's head of security. Cobb was ground zero, first of our operatives to die. It had to be one of his staff, someone with military training and access to plane. Ah, grasping at straws. Gray is a mercenary, a veteran of every backwater tragedy you've ever ignored on the five o'clock news. Chechnya, Sierra Leone, the list goes on, but before 89, nothing. No records of any kind. Now, oh, come on. CIA, KGB, plenty of spies went dark. After the curtain was lifted, I cast a very wide net. <clears throat> Lucas Gray simply does not exist. <clears throat> if you're all quite done wetting yourselves with excitement, I couldn't give two shits where he came from. I only want to know one thing. How does he know about us? I swear to God, this hearts and flowers crap will get us both killed. Can't you see? Your so-called friend is working for them now. He's not the man you knew. This is his fight too, Olivia. Even if he doesn't realize it. Like it or not, 47 is our last and only lead on the partners. He needs to remember. He's coming for us. And unlike you, he won't hesitate. Just get me inside. Rico, I need a favor. Okay, I can't say I'm a big fan of the um, changed um, cutscene style, where it's more like a uh, slideshow. I do like the um, like the animated slides, like the the screen, like the computer screens are still moving and the dust, etc., is still there, but. I oh, know, it feels like a bit of a downgrade from uh, the Hitman 1 cutscenes, which were just properly animated. Uh, let's take a look at uh, the exfiltrate through the sewers. It's just the one for the sewers. Okay. I'm not gonna read these much yet. Alright. Just filter the ones I have. So complete it. So about pushing her down the elevator shaft during the blackmail meeting disguised as the blackmailer. Assassinate Robert Knox of an explosion in the concert demo vehicle. Nice the blackmail documents. Where were those? Because I got the dude's outfit and then I got his 
Oh yeah, that was just in the van. Yeah. Got a VIP pass. No clue where I got that, but there's plenty around, I bet. You got a fast car. Let's just sit down in it, isn't it? So I'd like to come running. Impersonate serious black mirror meet up with the oh, temple of the gas pressure relief valve. Well, basically, we would just have normal names, I guess, like they did in Hitman 1, but oh well. Yes, and then these names. Next up. We're not gonna do that today. Exits to me.